Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today we're going to be reviewing this new 30 points of articulation Action Man released by Art and Science. Now, a while back I did review some of the uh, newer Action Man figures that they released maybe two years ago. And I have to say they were pretty awful. They'd gone down a route of just using a stock body that had incredibly short arms and it made Action Man look like he was a bit of a T Rex. I reviewed those figures, I wasn't that impressed. Now, a few years later, I think they've listened to the fans and they've released this new new version of Action Man that has a far superior body apparently, it has 30 points of articulation, it's supposed to be very poseable. These are on sale for £26.50 at the moment and there are a few different versions of them. You can get four basic figures which include this figure which is the Officer Cadet and also the Action Soldier, the Marine Ops and the Action Pilot and then there is a Deluxe version which costs £37.49 which is the Action Soldier Deluxe and the Night Freeze Force version. So today we are going to be reviewing this uh, basic version of the Officer Cadet cadet and comparing it to a vintage original which you can see standing to the left. We'll first take a look at the box which is pretty similar to the last version that they released of it. There's only a couple of sort of minor changes. The main one being on the front it says the movable action man and 30 points of articulation. When I first reviewed this box I at the time said I didn't think it was particularly good. It did nothing for me and I have to say it still does nothing for me. I think it's a very plain very unappealing box. The only exciting thing is the action man logo on it. Everything else is really quite boring. These are sort of diagrams of uh, various uh, action man outfits on the side really do nothing for me they look like they've uh, come straight out of a sort of comic and i don't know they're just not that interesting there's different ones on each side so you can see here we've got night ops marine ops freeze force and then on the other side we have action soldier action pilot and officer cadet I just think it's a pretty dull looking box. On the back it gives you a little bit more information. It says Action Man is the movable action figure and this latest collection of seven features the soldier, the pilot, the officer cadet, the marine, the deluxe editions of the soldier, freeze force and special ops. Each edition from this collection features a highly articulated figure with 30 points of articulation, the distinctive Action Man scar with detailed uniforms and a new life-size version of the dog tag. And by life-size they mean in scale with the figure rather than life-size to you. It also shows you on the back the content so we have the action man in military outfit army beret boots belt and dog tag now immediately i know and from seeing other people who've been talking about this it doesn't actually come with the belt there is no belt with this figure so um i will be double checking that when i open it at the moment you can't see there there was any belt uh, maybe it's under the jumper but from what other people are saying uh, it doesn't have a belt in there i just think this box is really boring if we compare it to an original box of when the figures were first released look how exciting that is. I know it doesn't show the figure, this is a sort of artist interpretation, but it's such an exciting box. On the side you've got these close-ups of uh, different versions of the Action Man you could get. On the back it shows you the figure posed. I just think this is a much more exciting box. And really who are these aimed at? These are going to be aimed at adult collectors. So adult collectors would like a nice box. It's nice to see the figure, but I just think this box really undersells it. I can't see any particular part of it that is exciting or makes me want to pick it up off a shelf. I think again they've just done a very poor job job on that but let's see what the figure inside is like because uh, if that's much better then I can sort of let the box go okay so let's open action man up and see what he looks like I've just got to cut the uh, tape at the top there so there's the figure immediately he does look an awful lot better than the uh, earlier version that they made of this figure because actually his arms look like they are about the right length you can see here he's got his little dog tags at the top those are sort of neatly tucked around the back does he have a belt no he doesn't have a belt so the box is wrong and everyone else who's been mentioning that yes that is obviously something missing maybe they decided uh, early on that they wanted to add a belt and costs or something like that stopped them doing it and they just didn't have time to change the packaging but it's a bit of a shame when it's listed on the box and then it's not actually in there let's cut this band here let's see if we can get this figure out oh, he's taped in on the top as well by the looks of it more elastic bands there we go he is now free I can take that band off his head. There is Action Man. 
So here he is out of the box and I have to say straight away he looks an awful lot better than the previous version that Art and Science released. He's much more in proportion. There is still a bit of an issue with proportion but I'll go into that in a minute. The overall look of him though I think he looks a lot better. He really isn't too bad at all. The face is very similar to the previous version of the face that they've released. I quite liked originally so that doesn't look too bad at all. He comes with a beret that fits very nicely onto the head. Oh actually there's a bit of paper inside that. So that's a, a nice uh, sort of a, yeah that fits really quite nicely. It doesn't have flocked hair. I still think that's a bit of a shame. They could have done something because a key part of Action Man is the flocked hair. And as the previous versions didn't have the flocking, they should have added it to this version. So that's a little bit of a shame. The uniform is pretty good. I like the jumper. It's got nice sort of detailing on it. The little dog tags, again, are very nice. The trousers seem to fit pretty well. I don't think they are press studded. No, these are Velcroed now. That doesn't surprise me. I'm assuming that press studs are probably not allowed uh, for toys that children can play with. So I would guess that Velcro would be there. Down to his boots, he's got pretty uh, good looking boots. So a little bit short, but um, yeah, overall, I actually think this figure looks really quite nice. And if we compare it to my sort of vintage original one there, if I can get him to stand up. I actually think them two standing like this, they do look really quite nice. The disappointing thing is that he doesn't come with any accessories. He's missing the belt, as we've sort of mentioned earlier. There is a belt listed on the box, but it's not there. He doesn't have a gun or anything. So it really, what can you do with this figure? They've got no gun. He's just a, a basic figure. I think that is a really quite a shame. They should have at least given him a weapon. I know the uh, sort of deluxe figures come with lots of weapons, but they are over £10 more expensive than this. Uh, putting a gun with this figure really wouldn't have cost a huge amount of money. But um, yeah, so that's the main problem I have with it. There are no accessories. He's a nice looking figure, but there are no accessories to play with him with. So that's a real disappointment. And then we come on to uh, the proportion of him. The previous version that Art and Science had released of this figure had incredibly short arms. So everyone started calling him a T-Rex version of Action Man because the arms were so short. On this one, I'm going to say he's got the opposite problem. He's now got really ridiculously long legs. They are so long. His torso seems too short and his legs seem incredibly long. It's like they've sort of gone to uh, uh, looking at Barbie or Cindy or something like that and saying, right, well, the legs need to be longer. He just seems quite out of proportion. I'll bring in my original Action Man, which I think actually has fairly reasonable proportions. You can see how high up his uh, groin is compared to Action Man. It's just crazy. I don't know why they've done that. Yeah, it just looks uh, really quite odd that it's uh, so high up. So that's my only complaint about this figure, sort of with the clothes on, is that the torso is too short and the legs are incredibly long. I guess it could mean actually if we put some of these uh, vintage Action Man clothes on this figure, they may not fit. You may end up with trousers that are way too short. So uh, maybe we can try that later on. But what I want to do actually is to see what the body is like underneath all of this outfit. So uh, let's take his um, sort of uniform off and we'll see what the figure looks like. Because it's supposed to have 30 points of articulation. So you're supposed to be able to really pose him, which it does look like you can from sort of out here. But what I want to do is check out the body and see what that looks like. So, wow, um, yeah, I've taken all of his clothes off and I have to say straight away, that is hideous. It's really ugly. It's just covered in muscles and veins and I don't know, it really is quite an unsightly looking body. Now, I know they've not actually designed a new body for this figure. They've essentially bought one in from uh, the World Peacekeepers toy line, which is made by a company called uh, M&C Toys. Uh, so they've essentially bought something off the shelf. So this is not a, a newly designed toy. All they've done is uh, made a new head and sort of stuck it on this figure. It may have lots of articulation. It does. You can see how poseable the legs are. They really do pose around. Likewise, the arms, you can pretty much move it in every direction you want. And likewise in the torso, you can bend it in the middle. His legs are really poseable, but it's just hideous. This to me uh, reminds me of there's a, a German or a Dutch artist called uh, Gunther von Hagen, who uh, basically is, uh, uses uh, bodies and makes sculptures out of them. Uh, if you're squeamish, turn away now, because I'll put an image of one of them on the screen, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And to me, this new Action Man body or this, uh, you know, World Peacekeepers body looks like that. It's just quite ugly. So, um, yeah, it's not really got the same sort of aesthetic as uh, an original Action Man body. If I bring in an original Action Man, as you can see here, it may not be perfect, but there's a certain charm and aesthetic to it. You know, it's got a few muscles drawn on, but otherwise it's a fairly nice, simple body. And actually, when you put uniforms and stuff on it, if they've got short sleeves, the arms and the uh, elbows and the knees don't look too bad. On this one, because of the added articulation, you've got these strange sort of pads on the back of the elbows. And yeah, that's just really ugly. So if he's wearing short sleeves, that's going to look really strange. Likewise, he's got the same thing on the knees. 
Yeah, I think without clothes on, this action man is very ugly indeed, and um, I'm not particularly uh, taken with it. And it really does show you as well how ridiculously long his legs are. I'm going to lay him down here. His torso is very short. His legs are very long. Um, yeah, not the greatest of uh, sort of bodies. It's art very articulated, but it's really quite ugly. And um, rather than using an off-the-shelf uh, torso and body like this, it would have been nicer if they'd put some effort in and actually designed a new figure that was really in keeping with Action Man. It's a shame they haven't done that. Well, I had the, all of the clothes taken off. I just I try uh, and put uh, an Action Man jumpsuit on just to see how uh, sort of uh, extra long his legs are. You can see they are pretty long. If I put some of his shoes on, there's going to be a bit of a gap here. So um, if you're thinking about using vintage Action Man clothes on this figure, it's going to be a little bit sort of uh, short in the leg or long in the leg, whatever you want to call it. So um, yeah, as I said, the legs are particularly long, so you're going to have a little bit of a trouble, especially if he's wearing the jumpsuits. Maybe the trousers, you can have them slightly pulled down, but with these jumpsuits, his legs are going to be a bit of an issue. Now that I've put his uniform back on, I just thought I'd try and sort of make him look a little bit more interesting. So I've added a belt and I've given him a gun and straight away this figure looks really quite exciting. So I do wonder why they haven't bothered to put any of sort of accessories with him. The fact that it says there should be a belt and there isn't one is a bit annoying. It just feels like art and science have done the least they need to do with making this figure. They've given him the least amount of equipment, they've put the least effort in sorting out a body and just basically they've done as little as they need to do to make a figure and it's such a shame when companies do that there's so much they could do with something like this and they do the bare minimum just to try and make some money and I feel that really is what this figure is all about they've listened to people's complaints about the t-rex version of him and they've gone all right well let's just swap the body and we'll release another version and do the bare minimum we need to do and stick it out on the shelf the box does nothing I think the figure actually the figure is okay once you start adding more bits to it but those bits should have been in the box even looking at it now there's no badge on the beret that would have been a simple thing to add they could have even just done it with a sticker you know the original action man has a nice little cast beret on there on this one there's nothing it just looks really boring so I think they've just done the least they need to do to put a figure out into the market I'm not really sure who it's aimed at is it aimed at adults is it aimed at kids I think it's probably aimed at adult collectors just remembering what they had as a child but even still they could have done so much more with it so is this figure worth getting I'm going to say mm, at £26.50 I would certainly err on that it does feel like uh, the art and science have done the bare minimum that they need to do to release this figure maybe they've been under some obligation uh, in their contract that they have to get a figure out and they've just thought well let's just knock this out it's not the greatest but it'll do and I just don't think at £26.50 you get enough in the box. With no weapons, no accessories, it feels very empty. Certainly there are other toys that you would spend that money on and you get an awful lot with them. I also don't really like the uh, the version of this figure when you take the clothes off the body underneath. I am going to be calling the Von Hagen's version of Action Man from now on because it's just got too many veins and bits and nipples and stuff. I really don't like it. It's just, I don't know, very aesthetically unpleasing to me. But the figure is pretty poseable, so if you want to do a sort of action poses and stuff, then it is quite good for that. And I think with a few modifications, you could actually make this figure really quite nice. If you replace the hands with some 40th anniversary hands, that would look quite good. The head doesn't have a huge amount of uh, motion to it. The neck joint is really awkward, so maybe that can be updated. And generally just putting more details and more bits on this figure, more accessories, a better beret with a badge on it, you could make it look quite nice. But as it stands for £26.50, it's a bit underwhelming. I would say wait at some point, these will start turning up in discount stores and then grab them because uh, when they're sort of discounted, they're going to be really good value. But as it stands, it's not the greatest of toys, which is such a shame. They could have done so much with this. And as before, it's a bit of a letdown. So I hope my review of this Action Man Officer Cadet has been of interest to you. If it has, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.